Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie, and in this video, I wanted to talk about Med Comic. So, I wanted to share my experience and just review Med Comic. Uh, I like to share things with you guys that helped me personally in PA school. Hopefully, um, it'll help you guys also in PA school. So, this is a reason why I'm making this video. So I learned that I'm a visual person when it comes down to learning. Um, I can read, but if I can't see it visually or either whether it's in a video or in a picture, I can't understand it. So I learned that the best way for me to learn something is to be able to see it and visualize it. Specifically when it comes down to pathophysiology and in general, I can say also my ICM class, which is my introduction to clinical medicine, basically of what a disease is. If I can't visualize it, it won't help me remember it, um, specifically when it comes down to exams, because it's really interesting that when you're taking an exam, if you just remember a certain picture, that's how it was for me, then it'll click everything for me. So this really, really helped me out for PA school. I really recommend it. Um, I asked you about this on Amazon. I think it was like 55 or 60 bucks around there uh, and it's actually created by a physician assistant um, his name is Jorge Muñiz and it, it's really good guys I really recommend it I'm not getting paid for this video or anything this is really my honest review um, about this book um, you don't have to be a PA or physician assistant student nursing students medical students etc I think it's a fantastic book now this is mostly kind of like a review so how i used it is that i first learned the information and then i went and used this so i can reinforce it reinforce it in my mind and so i can remember it so what is my comics growing up i've always been a nerd and i can say i still am i really enjoyed reading comics so i like anything that has to do with dc marvel if you guys have seen my previous videos i have statues of them everywhere so this is why I, this book really helped me out um, also made me remember about my childhood so what is med comic so basically um it's you're able to find some of the pictures free online if you just google med comic but if you want the book a hard copy and not everything online that you find is available you get a lot more in the book so that's why i purchased the book but if you just want to get a sneak peek you can just google med comic and it'll give you photos and it's really interesting because it's a fun and interesting way to be able to remember the information so you go to the cover here and it's split up into different sections so you have your contents and basically goes over all or most of the modules that you go over in PA school as you can see you have cardiovascular you have pulmonology you have surgery, infectious diseases, GI, pediatrics, nephrology, etc. And so basically it's little pictures like this. Um, I'll actually add some of the photos that I find online and I'll show you guys. And it's just a quick way to remember information. So for example, endocarditis, it's pretty interesting because you have the picture here of the man and it's really quick and to the point. So it gives you quick and to the point information on here. Now, like I said, I wouldn't use this solely to learn the information. This is just once you've learned the information and you're trying to find a way to memorize it and to remember it, I really, really recommend um, Medcomic and it has really, really, like I said, fun ways to be able to remember the information. So I really, really recommend this book for those of you that are um, struggling in school. I can say, like I said, my first semester, and I've said this numerous, time, numerous times, I'm sorry guys, but I struggled my first semester of PA school, and this really, really helped me out my second semester of PA school. I wish I would have purchased it my first semester of PA school. Uh, I hadn't known about it, but I just was being cheap, and I didn't want to purchase it, and I told myself, you know what, I have to do better the second semester. So I found this, and most of my professors already would use some of the pictures that they found online from a comic and they would add it into their PowerPoints. And I learned that I re would remember those pictures. So then I told myself, I'm gonna buy this books. Now, like I said, it doesn't have, whether it's in the module, whether it's in the GI module, it doesn't have all the diseases that you're gonna learn in PA school, but it has the majority of them and it has the big ones also. So that's why I really, really, really recommend it for those of you who are visual. Now, another thing is that it is paper copy. 
Um, I thought it was going to be hard copy specifically for the amount I was going to pay for, but it is paper copy, unfortunately. But otherwise, it's really good. Now, paper, it's all right. Paper quality is all right, but the pictures are great, guys. So I really recommend uh, this book for those of you who are visual. So this was just a quick uh, review over my comic. Hopefully, it helps you guys out. For those of you who are in PA school and are struggling, in your classes or who are about to start PA school um, and are wanting to buy products, books that I think that are going to help them in PA school, I really recommend this book. It's called Med Comic. Um, it's funny because this the first picture here is actually the cranial nerves. How to remember the cranial nerves and what they do. So that's pretty interesting. Unfortunately, I took neuro my first semester and if I would have had this, it would have been a great way to remember the cranial nerves. So once again, I really, really, really recommend this. It's a fun way to remember and um, reinforce the information you've learned. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching my videos. Um, I, I'll probably do a little bit more review over things that I recommend for PA school and that worked for me. So if you guys like this, just comment below and then I'll make more videos of these. If not, then I won't make videos for you guys um, in regards to what I recommend for PA school. Well, once again, thanks for watching my videos. If you guys like my videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I'll try to make videos weekly. Being that I am in PA school, sometimes it's really hard and I tend to pre-record my videos because if you've seen my previous videos, I'm always studying most of the time and sometimes it's really hard to go back and edit my videos and to record them especially if I'm I look like a zombie most of the time which is 95% of the time I look like a zombie because I'm just exhausted so yeah well thank you guys so much for watching my videos once again and I'll talk to you guys soon bye